So this buffer size is our big tool. Okay. If we make it smaller, the latency will go down. See, now it's down to seven milliseconds. But uh, it's much more taxing on our computer. Uh, our computer may slow down as well. So we have to find a balance between how much of our computer we can monopolize with this and how much latency we can live with. So you're going to have to experiment with this to get it just right. This driver error compensation doesn't really do anything. What this does is just, um, is it just kind of adjusts these numbers to be more accurate. So if you do some tests and you know that your interface actually only has, you know, two milliseconds of latency on the output, then you can put that in there and it'll adjust it. But it's not really changing the latency at all, uh, is my understanding. It's just changing the number. So here, I'm going to take it down to 32 samples of a buffer size. That's going to drag on my computer, you know, like just sitting here, it's at 5%, right? Um, if I take it back up to like this many, you know, 1,024 samples of a buffer size, just sitting here, my computer's at 0%, right? So the smaller this is, the less latency you will have, but the harder your computer is going to be working. So what you're going to need to do is the first time you do this, if you feel latency is an issue, it might not be an issue for you at all, but if it is, come here and play around with this buffer size thing. See if you can get it tolerable by playing with the buffer size. If you can't, then you might just need a faster computer. But probably not. You can probably make it work. Don't worry. You don't need to buy a new computer. Okay, let's record some stuff.